Guys, Love Island Australia is back. It's back. All of you lot been having like withdrawal symptoms and all that, yeah? Love Island's back, innit? I've been having the withdrawal symptoms. It's back, full effect. It's not the English one, it's the Australian one, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it should be good still, it should be good. It's not gonna be as good as ours, you know how we do out here, you get me? But it should be all right. First episode today. <laughs> Gang, the intro was wicked. The intro looked mad wicked. The characters looked colorful, like, I was like proper drawn in, you know them ones there, like there was people catching cabs, there was a guy DJing, there was a girl with a bag, but she had big boobies. It all looked good, you know them ones there, it looked good. I was gassed, just to hear the music again. It doesn't go like that, but you know how it goes. I was gassed still. So straight away, as soon as it started, yeah, I noticed like the narrator guy, the voiceover guy, I noticed, you know, cause obviously they took the format from here, innit? Straight away, he was trying to be funny, like, but it was just dry, it was proper dry, like, I don't know, it was dry, it was as dry as them Australian deserts, it was mad dry in there, I wasn't getting it, if you got it, and laughed, ha ha ha, but I didn't get it, but I noticed he was doing that, but anyway, we'll allow him anyway, we'll allow him, you little funny guy, but the first two girls came in, one was 24 and one was 19, the 24 year old is Vanessa, Vanessa, um, Vanessa's 24, she's from a French background, um, she's got a double major, du double major in like, I think finance and economics, and she basically says that, like, she gets whatever she wants, and she don't settle for less, so, if there's any man out there that's not, you know what I mean, proper secured, she's grabbing that, if she gets fanny flutters, she's jumping on something, you know them ones there, that's Vanessa, and, is there, and then there's the 19 year old, Cartier, Cartier, you know, like the watch, bling, bling, yeah, Cartier, yeah, Cartier, Cartier is from a Croatian background, she's a sweet little girl, um, she's from Sid Sydney, she's a lifeguard, and um, she proper likes the Bible, she likes Jesus, Jesus is her first call, I like him too, we all, who doesn't like Jesus, he's a cool guy, like I met him once or twice, but she likes Jesus, she said, her mum said, yeah, a man will not marry a woman who can't, I think, clean or cook or something like that, Your mama idiot, man. Anyway. <laughs> it's funny because when the two girls first walked in, the 19-year-old and the 24-year-old, the 19-year-old one, Cartier, asked the 24-year-old one, how old does she think she looks and all that? And then um, Vanessa said, uh, 24, 25? And she was like, oh, no, I'm 19. <laughs> Stupid. You thought she was going to say you look like your age, innit? You don't, man. You look 20 years older. Nah, I'm joking. Cartier is cool still. She loves Jesus, so we can't diss her. Man's on the man's on the G, man's on the heaven thing. Man's not on the hell thing. Get me? Then comes the next girl, my sister. You get me? You know, like you get me. We gotta put it down for our people. You get me? My people. Them. The next girl, Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia. Um, she's 22. She's a model. She's from Bisbourne, but she's originally got a West African background, like myself. You get me? I got a West African background, man's from Nigeria, innit? But she's from Liberia. Um, she she came to Australia since she was seven years old. Um, and she's never had a boyfriend, which I thought was a bit mad still. I don't know why she's never had a boyfriend. She's a very beautiful girl, good mannerisms. I don't, obviously I don't know her like that, but she seems cool still. And um, she says she's got a lot, a lot, a lot to give, but she just needs to find the right person to give, give it to. Like, she's looking for, like, a long-term relationship. You get me? But, yeah, we got to give it up for Cynthia, man. The next girl's name is Jessie. Um, she's 23. She's a waitress from Tasmania. She says she's highly underrated. You get me? Like, okay, cool. She thinks she's a rap legend or something. You know them ones there. But, um, she says she speaks too fast for her brain to comprehend. So, she just needs to slow down and just think about what she's saying. You know them ones? She sounds like a dummy. You sound like an idiot already. Like one of them crash test dummies. Like, that's what she sounds like. But yeah, she's got her boobs done. She was the one that whose boobs I saw in the beginning. She's got her boobs done. Um, and um, yeah, she says she likes to just, she paid for them. So she wants to like use them and flaunt them. Like, as long as you got the receipt, <laughs> why not? Do your thing. You get me? She says she's not dumb, but she doesn't say smart things. That will make her a, a knob cheese, a knobhead. Like, what are you then if you're not dumb, but you don't say smart things? 
that statement is dumb. Anyway, um, she's attracted to like loud guys, which she says makes other girls hate her because central attention and all that. But yeah, that's Jessie. Let's give it up for Jessie still. Woo! And then the next girl that comes in, Cassie. She's 26 from Sydney. She says she was an EA, yeah? And until I actually watched the whole thing, I was like, what the hell is that EA? The only EA I know is in the game. EA is in the game. I mean EA Sports and all that. But it turns out the girl's an executive assistant. Trying to make it all sound all tropical, all nice and... Bro, shut up, man. You're nothing. Anyway, nah, I'm joking. She's an, executive, she's an executive assistant. You know them ones there? But yeah, um... She grew up in London, this this girl still. When you hear her talk, she's got the London kind of like talk. You know them ones there? She grew up in London. She said she came to Sydney a few years back, six years back. And she just stayed there because the, the, the guys in Sydney were so good that she couldn't leave them. So good that she can't find no one that she had to come on the show. Dickhead. But yeah, that's what she said. She says she wants a, a guy that looks like a bad guy. Just got the bad guy image, but it's actually a good guy. So... She's confused. She's confused. She wants a... Is it wolf in sheep? No, she wants a sheep in wolf's clothing. You know that one's there. But what she's going to get? Who knows? After the five girls got introduced, came in, met each other and done their... Oh, my God, nice to meet you and all that. Then their... Their... their I can't remember her name. Their presenter woman. Their, their Caroline Flack. I call her Caroline Slack. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Their, she came in and then obviously... She spoke to the girls, asked them what they like, what they want in a guy, and what they're going for. All that, all that, do lolly, you know what I'm saying? Then, it was the time for the guys to come, yeah? But I'm not even going to go into the guys like I went into the girls, innit? I'm just going to tell you who they are, how they are, and what they do. And then, the rest is just go from there after, you know what I'm saying? The first guy in there was Maurice, 27. Um, he's a content creator. And, um, basically, walked in... You had to have, you gotta have good nerves, you gotta have strong nerves to walk in and be the first guy, you know what I'm saying? He walked in, calm, he get me on his play and stuff, and then introduced himself to the girl. Seemed, seemed like a cool, nice guy, and then the girls had to like step forward to see if any of them liked him. There was a little hesitation, but nobody, nobody stood, nobody came forward because they was like, oh, we wanna see what the rest of the pack is like. All right, whatever in it, do you know what I'm saying? He who's not first may be last sometimes. No one, no them ones there. But they never picked him. And then obviously it's the guy can pick if the girls doesn't step forward, innit? Even if they step forward, he can still pick whichever one he wants. He stepped forward and then he picked um, Jesse. He picked Jesse, innit? The next guy, Gerard, um, 23. He's from Perth. He's a personal trainer. Hey, it's, a, it's from Perth. I thought it was a Perth. Nah, <laughs> joking. He's from Perth. P-E-R-T-H. Uh, he's a personal trainer. Um, he does this little mad naked chef thing where he's just got his bum cheeks out in the garden. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Anyway. Um, and then one of the girls obviously had to step forward for him again. And then steps forward. Cartier, the Jesus loving girl. Like, She's kind of cheating on Jesus because she's going to pick another guy over him now. Do you know what I'm saying? Jesus should always be your first love. Anyway, Cartier steps forward. So now Cartier and Gerard are a couple. Woohoo! The next guys, Adam, 27, from Queensland. Um, I can't actually remember his occupation. I don't know what his occupation is. Anyway, um, the girl said he looked like a bad boy and all that stuff. Um... I can't remember if he stepped forward or... Anyway, he picked Vanessa. Him and Vanessa was a couple. Um, and that was that. Then enters the next boy. Then the next boy, Sam. Samuel, 28, from Melbourne. Um, is, an, is an international DJ. Um, he's, he's DJ for Drake, Justin Bieber. You know he's got to get that in. You get me? That's his celebrity clients. Anyway. Um, and then Vanessa, yeah, who had just been with Adam, yeah, now left Adam and stepped forward for Sam. Madness in it, madness. I have to be looking to see what whose name. I don't know their names yet, innit? They're 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 still strangers to me. You know them ones there. Um 
Then Adam went back on the sideline. Like, Adam has to just go sit there as on the subs bench. You know them ones there. But yeah, Vanessa was like, she, I like Vanessa. She knows what she wants. She's like, I don't want you in it. That's what I want. You know them ones there? Then the next brother walks in, Matthew, 24, from Melbourne. Um, he's a model for GQ and them things there, you get me? And he does like side wrestling and all that stuff. Them man there that do side wrestling, I think they just... They like wearing spandex in it and all them kind of things, all them rubber kind of like, you know, and have their, have their balls just cupped, hugging and stuff. Anyway, that's what his side hobby is. Um, that's Matthew. Um, Cynthia was like mad excited when she saw Matthew, but like... She was mad excited. She's thinking, rah, this could be me still. You know them ones there. But Matthew, he wasn't even looking at her. He wasn't looking at her. He was looking at the Oibor girls. He was looking at all the other girls. Like, that's not her. You know them ones there. And then he ended up picking, he ended up picking Vanessa. Now check this out, yeah. First it was Adam. Then it was the next guy. Now it's Matthew. Like three guys, Vanessa, in like five minutes. This girl. Yo, she's doing bits. She's doing bits. Like, anyway, third guy in five minutes, yeah? So, Matthew is now with Vanessa. So, basically, yeah, the other two guys, yeah, that was left on the sidelines, they, like, one of them had to pick first of the two girls that was left. There was Cassie left, the girl that was originally from London, but and moved to Australia, because, like, anyway. And there was her and the black chick, Cynthia, left and then there were the two guys left um adam and sam and they had to pick uh, but someone had to pick first in it and they went straight for cassie whether they like cassie or not she's the white chick in it they're not going for the black chick listen yeah this is your one day 2.0 like it's really really annoying and you can i can see where this is going i can see where this is going so after the dust has settled and everyone has picked who they wanted and all that stuff, all the couples went in their little corners to try to get to get acquainted with each other a little bit better and them things there. And then Cartier, um, the Jesus loving girl, and Gerard went in their little corner and then she was talking to him. She was like, oh my God, I love Jesus. And uh, like, he's the only man in my life and all this stuff. And those kind of people really scare me. Anyway. She loves Jesus and Gerard was like, oh my God, you get on so well with my dad because he likes Jesus. Anyway, all the couples was getting on perfectly. It was, it was, it was, it was beautiful. Jesse was falling in love with Maurice. Um, Vanessa was totally head over heels over Matthew and um, uh, Cassie and her man. They were doing their thing. And then there's Cynthia and this guy. And there is no chemistry there. I'm talking no chemistry. Like none. Zilch. 0. 0.0000. Nothing there at all. Like it's literally dead. But there was no connection with Cynthia and Sam. Um, I would have a better connection trying to call Australia with my Leica. You know them ones there. But there wasn't nothing going on there. Um, uh, Maurice and Jesse. They were getting on like a house on fire. Do you know what I know? They kissed already. Mm -hmm. They kissed already. Like, they barely known each other like an hour or two. They kissed already. But that's Love Island. They've only got a few weeks to grab that 50,000 bag. That's what they're there for. Don't let them confuse you that it's love, you know. It's the 50,000. That's what they're there for. You know that was there. After Cynthia started noticing that there is no connection with her man, yeah. Like, she, she, had, she had a little conversation with her, Maurice. And then... I don't know, she thought there was something going on there that them two was getting on a bit better. And then she started like, literally, she started liking Maurice. She was like, you know what? I think I like Maurice and very rare, rare. And then she wanted to make a play for him. And she spoke to Jesse. Remember, Jesse's coupled up with Maurice. She spoke to Jesse about trying to move to Maurice. And she's like, look, do your thing, very rare, rare, but I think he's invested in me. That's her exact word. And she tried. She tried to speak to him. Maurice. He was just standing there, just with a straw in his mouth, looking like a waste man. He didn't even hardly say anything to the girl. He didn't even hardly say anything to her. She just, it was embarrassing. It's quite embarrassing. Like, I don't like, I don't like seeing black women on these shows. These shows are not for us. It makes us look bad. I hate seeing it. Do you know what I'm saying? I love Cynthia. Basically, that was the whole show. After everyone coupled up, they got to know each other. Nighttime came. Couple people jumped into bed. 
um, I still trying to get, remember their names, kissing and all that. And do you know what I'm saying? And then the new boy walks in, Egan. I think that's his name, Egan. He's, I think he's got Irish background, but um, obviously he's a, he's an Australian now. He's an Irish Aussie. He's 24. The guy's 24, but he looks like he's about 34. You know them ones there. He's a real estate agent. And um, he walked in looking like a looking like a smooth hippie. If, you, if there's ever a smooth hippie, like long hair, but it was smooth. Um, his shirt showing his abs and all that stuff. But yeah, as soon as he walked in, yeah, all the guys started threatening. The reason why they started threatening was because all the girls started like, "Oh my God, it's that like they saw Jesus." You know what I'm saying? It's that like they saw something, Gandhi or something, so, someone they hadn't seen in a while, Michael Jackson or something like that, and. Yeah, basically, the new boy, Egan, he's keeping all the boys on their toes because I think quite a few of these girls, their fanny is doing some cramps, doing squats, you know what I'm saying, backflips, acrobatics when this guy walked in. You know them ones there? But that's basically the show tonight. Um, I'm sure it's going to get more juicier. You get me? Let me know what you don't think, um, whether you like it. Get me, it's your boyfriend, I'm back. <laughs> yeah.